Hello, you wonderful people. So for today's video, thoughts and theories, which obviously I'm gonna be talking about Arrow spoilers, which I think it's been enough time that it's okay. I mean, granted the title and everything might kind of give it away anyway, but still, uh, basically, I want to kind of, you know, make a video talking about my thoughts and theories about the direction Arrow will take going forward. In particular, who will be Green Arrow? Obviously, with season six ending the way it did, Oliver has been locked up. So it's like, oh, wait, so what happens to Green Arrow? And he's outed himself as Green Arrow. So for one, there's no, like, going back to a normal life either. At least I don't think. Not unless he, like, circumvents that stuff and kind of runs it back later on whether it's just kind of like, I don't know, after making such a big spectacle of it, announcing it himself, like, I don't know. Because I'd also still kind of put Felicity and William kind of in the spotlight because anyone that has beef with Green Arrow will still come after them. So I think that's something that still has to be concerned about. But it's like, the question is, like, will he eventually return as Green Arrow where it, will it just be, like, because it'd be interesting if he did still maintain being Green Arrow because people would know, like, Oliver Queen is Green Arrow. That's big news. Because amongst the DC heroes, with the exception of Legends, because they're going through time, so I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm surprised it really hasn't come up yet about them just kind of being themselves. I, the only ones that recognize them are their villains because they usually kind of go a little, I guess, quote-unquote, covert with a lot of their missions and stuff like that when they're uh, saving time and stuff like that. But still, Oliver's the first one to kind of fully... Out himself. I mean, to be fair, Guardian, um, Jimmy uh, revealed his identity uh, in the season finale of Supergirl, so, but um, it's definitely going to be interesting, especially after everything, all the, like, denying Oliver's done, and now he's finally admitting it, he's in jail now, which is also another angle, I don't know if I ever talked about this when I was talking about the finale, is the fact is, he's going to be in jail for a lot of criminals who were probably going to want him dead now that they know he's Green Arrow, I mean, granted, it won't be that easy to take him down, but still. But the thing is, like I said, not unless they just make it so that he becomes a public hero. I mean, like, it seemed like Jimmy's going to kind of keep that vigilante aspect, but then, to be fair, the differences between Jimmy as vigilante and Oliver as Green Arrow are different in many regards in the sense of just what Oliver has done in the past, you know, all the things that Green Arrow has done. But that's just talking about the Oliver angle if they potentially decide to go down that route, which would be interesting, but I don't know if they are. Maybe there's already been leaks and stuff about like what potentially is going to happen in season seven obviously i haven't read into it i just kind of want to you know throw my thoughts out there and wait until i actually see season seven unfold to really see what happens but my other thoughts is obviously the next best option is considerably diggle because obviously diggle already kind of took the mantle for a little while in season six anyway plus oliver gave him the suit in the end because honestly it's kind of what diggle always wanted but at the same time diggle's kind of come to realize it's not necessarily being green arrow himself that he wanted it's more so like the position obviously like he didn't agree with a lot of stuff oliver said so subconsciously by taking the mantle he took he would be taking the leadership and he'd be kind of doing things his own way that's what that was all about but he still has a suit at the end of season six so potentially the city needs a green arrow even while oliver is gone so it could be him he seems like the most logical choice to kind of take over while oliver's gone i mean to be fair uh you still have diana uh curtis and renee you know who also will help kind of keep you know star city running while oliver's away but then there's also the other potential option which is william and that's something i've kind of thrown out there i don't know if he will kind of rise up and kind of take over his dad's position or not that might not be a direction they're taking because typically in the comic books like it's something a little bit of knowledge i do have is the fact is in the comic books his son's name is connor he is you know a superhero himself i don't He's ever taken the mantle of Air, the Green Arrow like you know like how Bart has taken eventually uh, takes the mantle of the Flash like I don't know if anything like that ever happens with Connor like because I know he's just kind of like kind of like a Roy position kind of like a sidekick thing at least that's my understanding of it I've never read too deeply into the whole Connor thing which is interesting too because we know that at some point in the future Diggle's son John Jr. ends up taking the mantle of Connor Hulk while kind of being Green Arrow. So I don't know if they'll tie that in in some shape or form. Because let's not forget that continuity still exists. They might kind of fiddle around with it a little bit. But because in that point in time, I mean, at least my knowledge, because I don't remember he was ever brought up in conversation while they were there in Star City. Like, was it 2046 or was it 2047? I think it was 46. Which it would be interesting if William did take the mantle. I just kind of feel like they wouldn't do that because at this point in time we haven't really introduced any i guess arguably kids slash teenager like superheroes because maybe that'd be kind of an issue in itself but like we haven't had any superheroes really kind of be or did, 
I kind of take that back. Let's not forget about um, Bruce wasn't really doing the superhero thing at that point in time, but obviously, like, he is Batman. That is, like, Batman's past and stuff like that on Gotham, so maybe there's that exception, but I feel like amongst this whole Arrowverse situation, that hasn't really come up yet. I mean, see, I guess you can make the argument on, like, Black Lightning with Jennifer, but, I mean, she hasn't really done the superhero thing yet. She's kind of coming to her powers, but that's about it. I don't know. It'd be kind of an interesting direction if they did decide to go down that route, because he'd probably be, like, the youngest person to kind of take up a mantle of being a superhero and stuff like that. I'm sure Felicity and all of would be super against it but maybe that's something we could potentially see of him I mean not unless he did like a time skip situation which I mean I've kind of thrown that out there as like something they could do but I don't know if that's something they would necessarily do uh, but that could be like, you know, an older Connor who's kind of taking like that time to train and grow and do it himself, even without Oliver or Felicity's permission. But there's also another factor that should be considered. Maybe it's someone we don't even know. Like maybe someone who's inspired by the Green Arrow in that time decides that they're going to try it for themselves. It's like the city needs a Green Arrow. No one's wearing a suit. So someone goes out with a bow and arrow and starts trying to save the day and like the team finds out about it. And eventually they were kind of against this person, but eventually maybe that person will kind of like join the team and kind of pick up the mantle themselves maybe we'll see some take a direction like that that I mean I all like these are just kind of like I said my thoughts about like the direction this could potentially take maybe I'm completely wrong all across the board maybe I got a little right here and there I don't know I'd be very interested to hear your thoughts as well about this like if you do know ahead of time don't really say anything you know you can mess around and hint to it but um, like I said, this is just me going into this not really knowing anything because I don't want to know for sure anything. I just want to wait till the season premieres and then I'm like, oh my god, this is what they're doing. And we'll kind of leave it at that. But I'd still be very interested to hear all your thoughts in the comments down below. But really, that's all I want to talk about in this video. Until the next time we meet, be happy, be safe, love life to the fullest, and enjoy it. Good day and goodbye.